I'm not scared to go back to zero because I've been there before. I know how to do that really well. Have I done enough? Could I have done more performing and stage wise, bro? I don't fuck with no rapper. Because at the end of the day, as long as you fully believe in yourself and you know what you're capable of, then it's all it's it's going to come. Like set up a plan to 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 finally do that thing that you've always wanted to do that you're passionate about. For some of the people listening, watching, they might be seeing this as the end, the conclusion of a great episode, or it might be the trailer to why you need to go and listen to the full thing. And what I've done is I've five questions on my mm -hmm. mess of a notes, All right. um, which is kind of rapid fire, right? I don't want to hit you with five questions that I feel like would beautifully wrap this up and, and give people the gems and the wisdom and the learnings from your life mm -hmm. to go and apply to their own and put okay. a little bit of action behind their own intent, right? All right so we'll go through these relatively rapid fire. Okay. So I want to hear the one book or the one podcast you'd recommend someone listening to or reading. Um, the one book I recommend is is power okay yeah go over check that actually i got it right here hold on man i believe so i love right, it. Cool. I'm gonna knock out it yeah go for it bro yeah, do what you gotta do i love it i, feel like this year I, let someone take it. I can see will there as well how good's will yeah will will is like my next one that i'm getting into all right someone has definitely taken my book someone's nicked it that's how you know it's good though right i believe the author oh, here it is here it is mm. oh, this right here by robert green Robert Green, shut oh, Definitely, everyone read that. I might have to put that on my list, put man. Put that on your list, and you can listen to it as well. It's just a, it's just basically a bit just about like understanding, you know, your position and being a leader, um, you know, channeling your power, empower, empowering others um, around you. Um, yeah, but it's just the, the dynamic of power. It's, just, it's, it's, it's important to understand and be aware of. I love it's it. It's a great book. Number two, mm -hmm. the one skill that you recommend mastering that significantly improved your life? Um, skill. Could be anything. Could be something simple. Trying, be... trying to listen more. Trying to listen more. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Because you've got two of these and one of these, exactly, right? Exactly. So. Exactly. I learned that years later, you know, but listening more and then speaking less can, can be great. That's a great one. The one challenge that you've faced that's required the most growth to overcome? Um, Self-indulgence. Yeah. Um, you know, vices, things of that nature. Yeah. Um, having a healthy balance of, you know, of life. There's always going to be things around us that can, that can you know, take us off course. So Definitely. just, just, just being a healthy balance of life and taking care of yourself. I love that, brother. Yeah. Number four, this one here, the, the daily habit or ritual that it could be a, a morning ritual, it could be a, an mm -hmm. evening ritual for the day to come mm -hmm. that you feel benefits your life the most. Um, it, sounds, it sounds strange, like when you put it next to benefiting my life the most, but it helps a lot. Okay. To make, I, I make my bed every morning. I love So bro, I always I make that. my bed because I feel like that's my first task. If I can get that task done then I'll be able to get the rest of my tasks done during the day. So the rhythm will be make your bed, get to the bathroom, then get in the gym by, you know, by a certain time you want to be in the gym, mm. get back, start your day. So like once I make my bed, everything else flows. So if I don't make it, then everything gets a bit weird. It sounds like just a good morning ritual is yeah. kind of the key for you. Yeah. As they say, brother, tidy space, tidy mind. That's it, man. Bro, if my bed's not made, like I usually go for a run and I, I'll make it when I get back. Yeah. Bro, it kills me. I feel like I can't get anything done. No, it's weird, man. Like you, like you said, tightest face, tighty mind. I you love know? it. You got it. I love it. The last one and likely the most important one of this whole podcast, the yeah. thing that I think is an opportunity for you to really speak to the world and to the audience here. Mm. The one message that you want to share with the world and if you could force them to act on it, what would that be? Um. The one message I would probably say, and we kind of touched on it earlier on, and 
and I think it might it might be well suited to your space as well and to what you're doing and what I'm doing and is that that set set up like set up a plan to 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 finally do that thing that you've always wanted to do that you're passionate about um I mean we can go you can live life in two ways and that's by living to someone else's agenda or you live to your agenda um you know what I mean we've all done it we've all done you know worked in corporate environments and all these different things or whatever environment we've all worked for someone you know yeah, and we've, we've all woken up on those days and we're like man i don't feel like going in or doing this mm. today we've all had it right but we have to do it to to survive right but here's the thing is it's like that's not the only way to survive you can even yeah. flourish if you just take the moment to invest in yourself versus investing in some other dickhead's dream <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> so like i love it bro it sounds it sounds about easy coming out of the mouth but it is hard and it's hard and it's it's uh, it's daunting but the thing is it's rewarding and it's it it just makes for like a better change like for in your life so i would always say just everyone always have a goal or something that's set up that they want to do that they're passionate about and find a way to get there and that would even mean spending more time at the where we are now putting a little savings aside putting whatever we need to do but try one day because at the end of the day we're going to sit there and go you know at least i had a crack you know Bloody if, at least if I had a crack and it worked, it, it worked wonderful. If it didn't, at least there's no maybe, ifs or buts. I gave it a try. It was tough, but I had a crack. Don't die wondering, hey. Exactly, bro. Bro, it's been such a pleasure to sit and chat to you. I, I truly mean it. And, and in full honesty here, when we first connected, I, I knew a little bit about you. But over the course of the last couple of weeks in mm. particular, diving into your music, your mm. art, who you are as a human, I've come to have a real respect for you, man. And, yeah, and like you, I said, bro. I've been racking up the listens on Spotify, you, man. So Thank you. Uh, I love what you do. I'm, I'm now a fan of not only your music and your art, but who you are as a man. And Appreciate it's been a you, pleasure man. to sit here. And, Likewise, and bro. Stories. The respect is mutual, bro. Real talk, man. Like everything you're doing and how you're moving and um, how dedicated you are to with your, with, 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 with your craft and what you're setting up, bro. So much love. I appreciate it. Mm. Every link to wherever you can find this man will be in the show description. Go over there, give him the love he deserves. It's been a pleasure to have you guys listening to or watching this chat. As always, hit that all important follow or subscribe button and we'll see you at the next one. Thanks, brother. Thanks. Thank you, man.